The circle is flat. Time is round like a sphere. Based on the circle, the time of the twelve count is flat time, false time. It is not round like the thirteen moons. It is not round like the earth and the sun. The flat time of twelve months was never a harmony like the thirteen moons. In the flat time of twelve months, the number of days to the months is uneven and irregular. In the round time of thirteen moons, each moon has exactly twenty-eight days. The civilization of the Twelve Count established itself in many different forms and styles in the great land masses that human knows as the Old World. Wave after wave of civilization had come and gone. Still, the tax bases needed to expand. More land needed to come under control of civilization. The civilization of twelve inevitably came to the New World, to the continents known as the Americas. Here, the people of the turtle and tree remain strong. Here, the memory of the sacred thirteen and twenty counts had been kept. As in the old world, some of these people too had chosen the way of the sea. But in the new world, civilization developed that was rooted in the thirteen and twenty counts. Among the tree and turtle people of the new world, no one kept the thirteen and twenty counts better than my children, the Maya. Even though the Maya grew into decadence, they still remembered the thirteen and twenty counts. Their memory of time was complete. They followed a sacred calendar called the Tzolkin. Here, the thirteen count of the moon and the twenty count of the sun were woven together in a wonderful pattern of 260 days, 13 times 20. This sacred moon-sun pattern they wove together with another calendar, which counted the 365 days of the Earth's orbit. Every 52 years, the solar and sacred calendars match perfectly. The civilization of thirteen came to an end when the civilization of twelve arrived in the new world. Everything that could be destroyed of the civilization of thirteen was destroyed. Swiftly the shadow of the false time spread across the rest of the planet. Every ocean was navigated, every island mapped and charted. The biosphere had been converted into a resource base for human cleverness. Then came the completion of the act of the forgetting of time, the invention of the mechanical clock. Like the twelve-month calendar, the mechanical clock is based on the twelve count. The flat time of the calendar of twelve, which spread the irregular pattern of civilization throughout the biosphere, developed a bizarre twist.
humans now ran by the clock. Faster and faster the human child ran. The faster the human ran, the more humans there were. The more humans there were, the faster they ran. Running fast to dig up the earth for more machines to make into the things that make life go even faster. Running fast to stay ahead, to stay ahead of what? Within the spreading shadow of the false time, everything the human child did was run by the clock. All humans' habits became conditioned by the clock. Everything run by the clock was converted into money value. Human labor was converted into money. Earth's land and resources were converted into money values. The clock ran the humans. The humans ran after the money. The money bought the power to transform the biosphere. Child of the earth, here you are today. The shadow of the false time has spread throughout the entire biosphere. Forests and animal life of all kinds are disappearing. Everywhere, streams, oceans, and airways are polluted. The biosphere constant is threatened by my last generation of children now spinning out of control. In the roar and the din of the machine, and from within the speed of the clock, who can hear the quiet message of turtle and tree? The flat circle of false time flattens time into a single line running to infinity. In a flat time, on a flat line, where is the time for you and me? On a speeding fast line, in a speeding flat time, does anyone even know about turtles? And tree. Last generation, children of the last generation of the earth. Is the forgetting so complete? Or is there something? That can arouse you to the round of time that still contains you. That still contains you. 